to Pixar Commerce, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to go about finding the owner of a domain name. So let's head over to uh, GoDaddy's Whois tool. So go ahead and type in GoDaddy.com forward slash Whois, or you can also type in Who.GoDaddy.com. And let's go ahead. I already have a domain in there that we'll search for, which is BatsInAustin.com. I just want to know who owns it. So go ahead and enter that in. It'll the recapture. You'll be met with it just to verify that you are a human being um, and not a robot. So go ahead and select all images. In this case, we're having to select all images with palm trees. I don't know if that has palm trees, but we'll try and see what happens. Well, we have success. All right. So once you have successfully um, verified yourself to be human and not a robot, then it will show you the who is search results and what you want to key in on really is the registrant email, the admin email, and the tech email. Now, if you notice, it says select contact domain holder link at, then it gives you a link. Well, what's kind of confusing about this is this link is the very same link that is found up here at the top that I have highlighted in the URL window. So it's kind of a circular reference. Um, and so those who are not familiar with how to find or go about, you know, finding an owner of a domain for whatever reason, in most cases probably to buy the domain, perhaps, um, this could be a bit of confusing circular reference. And so what you'll have to do is what it's basically telling you to do is scroll down. And at the end of the page, there is a contact domain holder link. So go ahead, click that link, and this domain holder contact request form pops up. It already uh, populates the given domain name. In this case, it's batsinaustin.com. So go ahead and fill in your name as well as whom you're trying to contact, whether it's the registrant, technical, admin. In most cases, this is all the same person, although it could be different. It could be an IT company that registered the domain on behalf of a customer. Um, the admin could be legal uh, representation. Uh, so if you're wanting to contact the buyer, I would say, you know, hey, try the registrant first, and if not, then come back, try technical, if not, come back, try admin. And then in terms of your reason for contacting them, you're limited to 240 characters, uh, which is, isn't really that much space. If you're hoping to buy a domain, then what I suggest is, uh, one, obviously ask the, ask the question of, hey, is the domain available uh, to be purchased? And if so, then go ahead and state your opening bid. I mean, in most cases, I tell people or encourage them not to go below $500 for a given any given domain these days. And so submit that so that the buyer will know that, hey, this is an actual offer. You know, don't come in lowballing at like $10, $25, $50. Um, most are likely going to scoff at such a thing, but um, come in at a reasonable level uh, in which most of the time these days most people don't blink at spending or investing rather $500 into a domain name and so go ahead state that state the reason for contact make sure you verify yourself again at the recapture then submit it and that's it so I hope this helps you in terms of being able to find the domain to buy buyer of um of the domain that you're, you know, in hopes of purchasing and developing and building a business upon. And that being said, uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, Kickstart Commerce. I drop a video every Wednesday afternoon. Sometimes we talk about search marketing disciplines. Other times we talk about WordPress tips and tricks. And then other times, like today, we're talking about the digital disciplines of buying, selling, investing, and developing uh, domain name. So that being said, please head over to kickstartcommerce.com and down here on the right hand side, look for that discover profitable domain investing strategies. Sign up for this list. I basically share, you know, proven strategies to buy and sell domains on a daily basis, uh, as well as a handpicked list every morning of domains that are expiring that day. So please go ahead and sign up. And other than that, we look to have you back here next week for the next tutorial. Thanks, and that's all for now.